mom's calling me and you talking about- I believe it, you didn't answer. You didn't give me any information to go by. What do I gotta give you information for? Stop it. I'm killing you. I just wanna know who it is. I just hey, 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 hey. I'm asking nicely. I need my boyfriend. Do not Get push me. Because I'll push you back. Do not walk this away make, again. This is gonna make I don't care if it makes you look back. You're awesome. As teenagers, we were all rebellious. Maybe you dyed your hair or went to a party or two without your parents knowing, but it was mostly harmless fun. However, as technology has become more advanced, we've caught many teens on camera acting as if the laws don't apply to them. Some of them get into fights with officers, while others try to brawl with their teachers. Some of them even try to hide weapons in their school bags. So with all that said, here's our first teenager who thought the laws didn't apply to them. Our first teenager is an 18-year-old from Wilmot, Illinois. Don Resch was confronted by officers Golden and Demos on the 10th of April, 2023. He was intoxicated and refused to comply with the officers who'd been called by the manager of the store. I'm causing some problems in front of the store. Yeah, he said you think you've been drinking alcohol as well, some penny or something like that. Walking back and forth, bro, I'm talking Yeah, no, I believe, yeah, I, I hate, like, as right now, I don't see you causing hey, no problems hey, or nothing. Hey, 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 hey. This is talking about I'm causing problems yeah. in the neighborhood. Hey, I just got a call about it, all right? So I'm just trying to figure out, you know, like, no, the guy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hey, you hey, so the guy told me you're just causing problems over here, said you've been drinking. It sounds like you're slurring a little to me. So I would think you've been drinking too, but as of right now, I don't see you causing any problems. So what, what's going on? Talking back and forth, talking on the phone. I know, I believe you, I believe you, man. You got no, yeah, I'm not, don't try to get defensive, man. but have you been drinking? Hey dude, I smell, hey man. <laughs> Hey man, I smell liquor on your breath. Don Resch tries to leave the scene, but the officers can't leave the teen wandering around on the streets, so they quickly follow him. He tells the officers that he works close by, but he can't even say the name of his job without slurring. As the officers try to communicate with Don Resch, he keeps on talking to one of his friends on a video call. You're not 21, I can tell. <laughs> so, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's up? What's this? That's not mine. No? So the guy said you were drinking Remy. It wasn't any, it was Remy. So that's not yours. That's not mine. Okay. But do you get you get how I don't believe you? Because it smells like you've been drinking. We found some Remy, which the guy said you were drinking. And now I don't know where that came from. Okay. Hey, hey you got an idea on your kid? I <laughs> I know where that came from. Okay. Hey, do you, you got an idea on you? Nah. I nah, you got nothing. I know where that came from. Well, what's your name? My name is Shane. Shane? He asked him how he's planning on getting home, and Shane tells the officer that he's going to walk. You can see the issue here, right? The suspect tells the officer that the drink is not his and that he isn't drunk. That is not mine. Okay. That is not mine. But you are drunk. I be drunk if that's not mine. You could drink something else. You could have drank something else. I'm not drunk. Are you 21? Are you 21? I didn't drink nothing. Listen, dude, I smell it on you. I deal with DUIs all the time. Hey, you're gonna follow me? Yeah, I'm gonna follow you because you, hey, let's just let's just go over here real quick. You didn't even test me or nothing. You just gonna follow me because you are Because I have a reasonable suspicion that you're drunk. That's why. But you didn't so. test me. So. Dude, you're not free to leave. Stop right? following me. Hey, hey, you're not free to leave right now. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, you're not free to leave. You gotta let identify me call yourself. A, let me call the real. Uh, you gotta identify yourself. Okay? Let me call the real and. What's your name? What's, let me call the real. Uh, which? Hey, bro, what's the number, bro? What's your name? Oh, bro, why are you so close? What is why your you name so, so we can Why are wrong, you so okay? close? The suspect walks away from the officers, who keep on telling him that he's not free to leave. His friend on the phone yells that he's recording everything, but he shouldn't worry too much because the officers are recording as well. Suddenly, the suspect turned into Owen Wilson as the officers put his hands behind his back. Wow! 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 wow. You a All right. Wow! My mom's calling me and you talking about- I believe it, you didn't answer. You didn't give me any information to go by. What do I gotta give you information for? Because, uh, because- I gotta hey, give you information hey, for? Hey, hey, stop. 
Stop. Who I'm, are I'm, you? I'm not yelling who at you. Who are you? I'm not yelling at you. Please stop yelling at me, all right? Bro, who are you to lock me to, up for what? I have hey, to get hey, information. Hey, you see it, right? I ain't do nothing, right? Right, right, right. You see, you see. I'm putting this phone back into your pocket, all yeah, right? Yeah, put it back in my pocket, you <laughs> Hey. Get ass. Fuck you. Hey. I don't relax. Dude, you got it. You arrested me for. We're not. You're not. You're not arresting right arrest me, okay? dude. You're. You swung at me when I tried to calm you down. I swung at you. The suspect spat at one of the officers and kept on yelling at the two of them. A bystander joins the conversation and asks the officers if they can take him home. But Don Resch doesn't want to cooperate and tells the officers that it has nothing to do with them if he, an underage person, is drunk in the streets. When he got a bit more confrontational, the officers decided to move him to the back of a cop car. Okay. I need to know how old the f*** does that have to do with you? I need to know how old the f*** does that have to do with you? Relax. 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 No, put him in the car. Put him in the car. Because I did. Use a f***ing tool. Use a f***ing tool. I hope the mom you in your sleep. Stop. Wow. Hey, 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 stop. Stop. Stop it. Yeah, yeah. Spit that loogie on your face. Do you have any weapons on you? What are you reaching for? When you're here, come over here. Go ahead and check nothing. Check nothing. Stupid Caucasian <laughs> ain't worth nothing but a look. But a look. Search my left side, you the officers put all of his items in a bag, but before they could even close it, our suspect started to bang his head against the window of the car. He tells the officers they have no power outside of the law and tries to lick and bite the officers. The officers check him and find out that he's 18 years old before they drive him down to the station. Hey man, here's a you know your yeah, mother, what your a wife, dude. Uh, dude, uh, dude. Make sure. You think y'all strong? Y'all think y'all strong? Hey, 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 dude, dude, easy, easy. easy. Stop easy. spitting. Easy. Hey, can we get a spit mask? Hang on. He's a white. <laughs> white. Never went through nothing. You too. Y'all too. The drunken teen is still acting erratic as the officers try to search him. They have to remove his cuffs to get his jacket off, so they pick him up and place him on the ground. But our suspect does not make the job easy for the officers and keeps on trying to break free. I got his arms. I got his arms. Relax. That's not what you want to do. That's not what you want to do. I'll shoot out of you. Is this how I got his arms. I know. Hold on. We got jewelry. Give us a lot of more. Yeah, earrings. Point point, you know, six, six, one, zero, right. Dude, dude, relax. relax. Hey, take there's four of us here. Take a breath. Who you are? Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the front. Yep, yep. This is nice to meet you. You can breathe, buddy. Watch your feet, watch your feet, watch your feet. Stand up, stand up. All right, we're going to just stand up. Okay. I got a feet. Got Bro, you know how big y'all want to have to do three guards for y'all? Number one. Number one. Number one. Sit down. So you finna sit me in the cell? Don Resch was placed in the cell and charged with three counts of felony aggravated battery on an officer and a misdemeanor charge of resisting obstructing an officer. But if you think he's the worst spoiled teen on this list, just check out the next one. On September 30th, 2023, officers were called about a disturbance after a woman was allegedly sprayed with pepper spray by another female. When officers arrived on the scene, the victim said that she did not feel safe around the suspect named Margaret. Meanwhile, the suspect locked her dogs in the car and asked another officer for some assistance. You have the ability to open this car. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, so what's um, going on? I locked my part of my key in here, okay. talking to this lady. There's nothing going on. She's... I, she's 
insane. So, uh -huh. And I, she called you guys uh, for absolutely no reason. I okay. feel really sorry. Okay, that, well, uh, just tell me the situation. Are being used. Do you guys have the ability to I will, to uh, after we no? figure out what's going on. My dogs are in a hot car. There's not a lot. So. Okay. Nobody takes a photo of the leaves. You're taking a photo of me and my dogs. Go away. I don't want to be in your video or your photo. <laughs> I got a screw job for you again. I just walked As the officers try to open her car door to get the dogs out, she explains to them that nothing happened between her and the other female. She tells the officers that the other female threatened her and recorded her. She walked to her car and got her mace as a precaution before she walked back to the victim, but said she, quote, wasn't going to do anything. Absolutely nothing happened. She's but the, for trouble. She locked me in there. So the situation, you could have got in your car and left and not I, even I walked back up to talk to her. I know, but you, dog. listen, you... I listen to what we are saying. You walked to your car, put your dogs inside the car, and then decided to still engage with her. So that's where you're wrong. I needed to know what the deal It doesn't was matter. People, prior to that. She showed so me her I video. Know Listen, why she's stop. Me. Did she show you all the video? Yes. No, Listen. I don't think so. She's sitting on the bench. I don't. She has her camera up. She's recording the. Um, she's just looking for trouble. That's all it is. I did nothing. You're not her. innocent here. What by did I any do to means. Her? What did I you're walking up to her, holding Mace up. You did not have to engage with her. The suspect tells the officer that she has a recording of her own with the woman smacking her phone out of her hand. The suspect tells the officer that she didn't just walk up to the woman to start to make trouble. Oh no, her life was threatened first, but the officer doesn't believe it. The other officer went to see the victim's videos and it became clear to him that the suspect was indeed at fault. Grab the mace, came back. Don't Stop. pull away. Don't pull away. Please don't do this with my dog. No, we're. Please do not do that to her. Yep, I just saw it. Hard on me like no, that. stop moving. You're being placed under arrest. What is that? Menacing. How is that possible? Because you walked up to them and pointed the mace at them. I just watched the video. No, ma'am. No, you're done. You're done. Maybe I needed to call the cops. As the suspect falls to the ground, her doggy thinks this is playtime and goes in for one last kiss. They take her to the back of the car as she has a breakdown. She curses and yells at the two officers who push her into the back seat. As they drove her to the jail, she continued to bang on the car door and even broke the window brackets. Do not touch me. Don't near no, me. Listen. I'll walk wherever Margaret. you want. Don't near me hey, or touch me. Listen, listen. Don't me. Margaret, do you remember me? No, I don't. Get listen. the away from listen. me. Listen. No. Listen. No. Do not touch me at all. I will walk wherever the you want me to. Don't touch okay. me. Okay. Don't touch me. Do you remember me taking no, you down I to don't. the clerk's office the to help you out? No. You don't remember don't. that, ma'am? I, I just up. All of okay? you. Okay. All right. Are you going to walk with us in the Yes, I will. Okay. Yes. Are you right. done talking yes. to me? Thank yes, you. Bye-bye. Come on. Margaret continued to yell and verbally assault the officers as they did the paperwork to process her. She kept on yelling about her dogs who were taken by animal control and how she wanted them back. The officers try to explain to her what she was arrested for, but she keeps on interrupting. You, you are under arrest currently. Wonderful. Okay. Great. Um, and I, I'll be honest, I just walked in here. I, I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. And as it looks right now, you'll probably go down to Franklin County. Okay, wonderful. How quick? Let's get it rolling, well, okay? We we have paperwork to do. We got stuff we gotta Wonderful. do, and then we'll Thank run you, you so down. Much. Right. You just let me know where you put my dogs, okay? And we, when I can get them out, and how long I'm gonna okay. be in jail. Okay. You f***ing these poor dogs. There's nobody. You f***ing kids. Hey, listen, do you, do you talk to your parents still or not? You didn't even take my f***ing side. You didn't even look at my f***ing video of this stupid fat f***ing bitch. I swear to God! Hey Margaret, come on back here. You arrested me for no f***ing reason at all! Okay. Come on back I'm here. allowed to carry me. I've, I've known you since you were like 13 years old, okay? I've, 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 I've tried to, I've helped, helped you many, Whatever, I've helped you many, many times, okay? Listen, if, if, 
it's part of the arrest process. You will be, you will, if you refuse, they will do it down at the jail. Margaret keeps on being disruptive and keeps on yelling at the officer who's asked her multiple times to calm down. Her dogs were taken to their own cute little jail cell until the cops figured out what they were going to do with them. Margaret is then escorted to the back of the cruiser once again and in the background you can hear her dogs barking. Margaret, don't touch me. I'm not going to touch you, but are you going to cooperate and walk with us yes. and do what you need Where to do? Where do you want me to okay. go? Let's go. Okay, let's go this way. We're going to go back to the cruiser you were in. Nope, nope, nope. Slow right here. Relax, hold on. I don't want you to fall down this step. So nice. Stay right here. Yeah, I just get a box. Yeah, guys. Okay. You did so good. You, I learned my lesson. Good job, buddy. Good job. F you, dude. Good job. Good job. Margaret was charged with menacing and resisting arrest, but with the way she acted, we're surprised she didn't get more charges. But with the end of one story, we'll jump straight into the next one. And this teenager's story is something else. Our next situation happened at a Little League baseball game in Massachusetts on June 12, 2023. The Worcester Police Department's officers used a taser on a 17-year-old boy who aggressively ran onto the field after his 15-year-old brother was hit during a scuffle. The teenager's mother accused the officers of discriminating against her son. So you're, you're just watching your son play? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to figure out who was the coach, who was who was like a league president, who was just I'm the head coach of the shorts. Okay. Yeah, I saw it up. All right, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you if you don't mind yep. to hang tight, but everyone else is not been spoken to. So anyway, so you're watching. Watching the game, whatever it gets over. Good game. Uh, get mouthy at the end. Uh, they're doing the handshake. Umpires took off. I actually told the umpires, being an umpire, I said, hey, watch your back. They left. Uh, something happened. I'm guessing. I'm on the Schwartz team. I'm guessing one of the kids said something because the kid who started might have said something is a little off. From the from the Schwartz side. Yeah. Okay. That's what something the, happened. The other two saying that there's a kid. The it's like there's history. Yeah. 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 These two teams. Have history. Something happened where the a team from Gary, the other team, threw the glove at that kid's face. And then I kind of went in and put everybody back in the dugout because it was already kind of split up. From the sword side, from the being sword like, side, hey, I'll just, just let it go. Separate. Yeah, Coach Kelly was dealing with the stuff on the field. I that was the guy who just tried walking up on okay. I just kind of got in the middle of it. We all know that even the smallest of games can become quite heated when the wrong words are said. The officer talks to the man and he explains to the officer that he tried to break everything up and get the opposing team off the pitch. The officer then makes his way to the coach to hear his side of the story and to figure out what happened. And believe it or not, this isn't the first time the officers were called to one of these teams' games. About a month or so ago, between Garrett and Schwartz, the police had to come. Some of the players and the parents for Garrett were threatening to shoot one of the umpires. They had to cancel that game, and that, that Garrett team folded. Um, a few of their players had an issue with one of my players in fall baseball from this fall. And so the last time we played them... still threatening my son. He's telling him what goes around comes around. Okay, so where's your car? I'm, I'm over here, but he's in a separate car. Right, hold car over there. Sir, they're, they're playing in that's your white car, sir? Uh, Alright, let's get in, get let, let's get you into your, your car to get you out of here. Hey Manny, can we just keep our mouth? I'm not saying anything, people are telling me to can you just <clears throat> step in your car? I'm good, I'm good. I just don't I just, I just don't want any more back no. Okay, there's this car. In the video, we see a few adults who were part of the brawl in the back of an ambulance receiving some medical attention. The officer speaks with one of the men who was in the fight, and he tells the officer that he can't point out who was involved in the brawl because there were so many people. Eventually, the crowds disperse, and some people even apologize to each other. Just a cheap shot. That's all. And all he did was tackle you? So he, I, I think. I, I took a couple of blows to the head. I can't tell you who it was because it was people all over the place. You know what I mean? Yeah, it sounds I just, like it was just As soon as I got hit, I tried to scramble up and I didn't guess him. No, we're good. Hey, no. Sorry about that. I'm sorry about that. I thought, I thought you didn't want him saying anything. No, 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 no. no. I don't want yeah. any more. It was an excellent game. Their team was very good. Our team was very good. It was down there. That's what I heard. And I understand that from playing sports. Things get heated. But we can't have it heated where the cops are coming. Gotta just, let's, this got to end. Like, we got to. People need to go home. After about 15 minutes on the scene, 
scene, the family of a 15-year-old who was hit arrived on the scene. Now before the officer could even explain to them what was going on, his 17-year-old brother ran onto the field and another brawl broke out. I understand there's a back history and yeah. all that, but well, so, what happened okay. today? So on today, we were, the, the game ended, it was a close game. That's what I've been told yep. several times. We're, we're walking through the line and the kid who had started with our pitch before kind of like shouldered him. And I didn't, I don't know if anything was said, but he shouldered him. And the next thing you know, as our kid walked by, he like took him from and all of a sudden we saw commotion and he like threw uh, a glove at him. Who did this horse to it? Lou Gehrig or Lou Gehrig to it to Swartz? Oh, sorry, 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 Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. That's that's crazy right there. That, that's crazy. Sir. He takes a 17 year old kid. Sir. I know he, he but he, Hold on. he's only 15. I understand that. Sir, listen. We got the we got the we got the Sir, I understand everyone's upset. The kid, got, the kid got hit. All right. After a lot of swearing, the 17-year-old then stands up and apologizes to the officers and explains to the officer who tased him what happened and why he reacted the way he did. But let us know what you think and if his actions were justified. His parents think that the boy shouldn't have been tased in the first place and are still arguing with the officers. I'm glad you can calm down. I'm sorry. Officer, I'm sorry. I, I just blacked out. Somebody hit my brother and I... I understand. I know you don't want... I'm under arrest for. I'm his mom. He's 17. I need to know what is he under arrest for. We will tell you in a second. Okay? I need to know. All right. We will. We got. We got. We got to calm down for a second. Okay. For what you guys got in initially is an emergency call because of your son, right? We were trying to handle that. All right. And I understand the emotions were high because you were like, "What did my son get involved in?" He just went. He went to a baseball game. He's never been in trouble. I'm not saying no. Not at all. Never in school. I'm not saying that's on either. He's never in school been suspended. Never been in a fight. Nothing. It should be an even. Thing. The guy left, hit my thumb and left. You should get let go of my kid right now too. That's why. That's why. That's what you have. Okay. okay. We are in the middle of handling the whole situation and then getting people out. And then, and then you and your son were, were Carlos. I understand you guys are upset. We're telling you, hey, I'm trying to talk to you, Carlos. I'm trying to talk to you on the other side of that fence. I know. I know. I saw him running. I, I went after him. As we did too. That's my kid too. As we did too. He's charging at some people. Okay. Probably assuming he that they're not taking. He should not take. He didn't have a legal weapon and he had mental problems. And I'm his parent. When he was running, I was running after him, trying to calm him down. Right. This is how you guys kill people. He didn't have no guts. He didn't have no nothing wrong to be taped. Really? Right. If that's your son, will you taste him? For running, be honest to me. If that's your son, you're going to taste him? He didn't have nothing, no paw, nothing on his hand. At the end of the situation, the 17-year-old was charged with assault and battery, and two other adults were also charged that day, but none of the suspects' names have been released. With all that said, let's hop right into the next video. In Florida, officers were called to a school because a teen allegedly brought a gun onto the campus in March. Indian River County deputies said that a student reported that Halicia McKenzie had a firearm in her backpack. The 18-year-old was searched, and the contents of her bags were emptied. Before you go any further on that, did you, do you recall, did you ever make a statement like that yesterday? That maybe someone, you were messing around and somebody said, they saw it or heard it? They ain't never seen it, or heard it. Okay. 
Can I see your backpack? Do you have anything else on you that you shouldn't have on you today? Could you empty your pockets out for me? Huh? Because I'm checking for the safety. I'm checking everything. Then empty your pockets. Huh? I don't feel like you Empty your pockets or you're going to be Okay, listen. Uh, I smell weed, but that... I, I it's through. not... I'm, listen, I'm just okay. explaining to you that I'm doing a safety check. No one's accused you of anything. But why search me, though? Because we one. have a serious I allegation. So we are going to search you. Okay, but can you call me home? Because I don't feel this is necessary. It was other kids in the classroom. I know. I, okay. don't, I don't Stand up. Stand up. Wait, wait, what? Because I'm telling you to. Stand up. Stand up. Okay, you're not under arrest. You understand that? No, sir. I don't feel this is necessary to search me, though. I can't hear you, hon. You got a what? I gotta use the bathroom. The female officer puts on her gloves as the principal searches through the bag. They pat down the team, who's not happy about the situation, and find her wallet and the firearm. The officer explains to her that she can't have a weapon on school grounds, and they read her her Miranda rights. Do you want to answer questions? Yes. Okay, what are you doing with a handgun on school grounds? No, I honestly was not trying on anybody with it. I was just carrying it around. That's it. Why were you carrying it around on school grounds? Because I understand that there's people on school grounds that likes to bully people, and I felt like I was being bullied by certain people on school grounds. Okay. Sir, chamber to what, Where did you get the gun? I got it from off the streets. Did you steal it from? No, ma'am. Did you acquire it from somebody else? No, ma'am. So how did you get it? How long have you had the gun? <laughs> How many times have you brought it to school? It's not the first. I swear. Today's the first? Yes, I swear. Yesterday. I didn't bring no gun yesterday, what I swear. But, uh, okay, well, I heard the statement that you brought it yesterday. Uh, Caltech 380 semi automatic. Is there something in it? Yes. It's loaded. It's loaded. I'm sorry, no, it's not a. No. Yes, sir, Keith, it's a Ruger. Not a it looks just like a Alicia brought a firearm to her school with a fully loaded magazine and a bullet in the chamber. She can't believe she's going to go to jail and feels that she shouldn't be arrested because no one got hurt. But what do you think about this? So it's very serious nature, so they're going to they're going to have to do this until it gets worked out. Are you serious, bro? No one was hurt, though. Yeah, was hurt. You're you, walking so, around in school with a gun with bullets in it. I understand that, but no one was hurt, sir. So I don't care. It is a felony to have a weapon on school grounds. Plus you were a juvenile, or did you turn 18? I'm 18. You're 18 now? Okay, so you're going to the county jail, okay? Are you serious? Yes. I can't even call, can you call my mom for me? We will call her, well, you could call her she, from the jail. Oh man, she's not. I was, I, I was just gonna get off juvenile probation. It's just one time thing. I never bought it yesterday. I swear, I, I never bought it yesterday. You may not have. I just we just got a tip, and I told you when I got you out of the classroom, I have to look at all chips, yeah. whether it's weapons, guns, whatever it is, weed. I didn't bring no weed. Okay, well it's smell of it. That's all. Yeah. And uh, but when we asked to empty your pockets, you you know if you refuse, this is what happens. So if I would have emptied my pockets, I would never did this to me. No, we would Well, you still would have been arrested. But you don't have to go through all the anguish. Just, you know that when you're in my office with deputies and you know you have something, it's best just to, it's not going to get any better. I want to know. I just want to know what's going on. So, just like I told you, you're going to go to the county jail. Okay, you're under arrest right now for possession of a weapon on school grounds. It's a felony. No matter what Alicia tries to say to get her out of this situation, she is going to jail. They ask her if her mother knows she has a gun, and she tells the principal and the officers that she doesn't. The principal asked her if she's still afraid of someone in the school. Alicia, are you in fear of anything? Oh, I'm just... I, I mean, is there anybody about. at school that you're worried about? I mean, yeah, it was. Oh, but it's not any longer? I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, my Apple Watch piece. Um, kids was trying to, like, they was messing with me and my sister and I. 
Did you report it to anybody in? Yeah, they had my sister to report it to any of the time. Sure does. Ms. Bowley came to Ms. Bowley about it plenty of time. Who was it? It was uh, a couple of girls, but... Okay. Well, we'll get... Yeah, right now, we just want to make sure that we're doing everything that we can. And, and now, were you worried that the these girls were going to attack you with weapons? Yeah, they always see how they follow. Alicia was escorted to the jail where her mother came to pick her up. The school district decided that she will not be allowed back to her school. Our next story occurred on January 14th, 2022. A female called officers because she got into a fight with one of the residents of the building. She showed the officers the CCTV footage of what happened and told her side of the story. So I just went out to go start my work, you know, my lobby. And uh, I asked her to move her stuff. She says, I'm not moving nothing. And uh, I guess she must have thought I was going over there. And this is stuff. a live thing. They're at her door right now. Her door. I wasn't going to mess with it. I have no place to put it. So I just went off, walked over here, and next thing I know, I was on the floor. Yeah, she knocked me down. Are you okay? Um, I, I think I'm okay. Okay. I, I just shook my head up real bad. I was really confused. Um, but, um, I'm okay. She knocked me down twice. The victim tells the officers that the suspect lives in room 249 and that she wants to press charges. The officers make their way up the stairs to the suspect's apartment, but before they could even get there, she was already on her way out. I'm leaving. Okay, so we need to talk to you though, okay? I'm not talking. What's that? I'm not talking to anyone. Okay. That's why I'm leaving. Okay, well we need you to just come talk to us, okay? Well, if she's the one who attacked me with a broom first and threatened me. Okay. Well, would you mind coming with us to a car, and then we will discuss that, and you can fill out a statement for us in regards to that. Well, we're going to jail when she started it. But that's not what I'm saying right now. I'm saying coming to a car so that me and you can talk. Okay? Can you do that for do us? Do not trigger me. I'm not trying to trigger you. I'm just trying to Well, you here. are. Okay. So would you mind just coming with us to a car? Not with talk? you, okay. and not with her. The 19-year-old reluctantly takes off her backpack and throws it on the floor alongside her purse. She then takes a seat in the car, and the officer asks her if she has anything on her, to which she replies, her phone. Well, in the back seat of a cop car, you can't have your phone with you. So when the officers tell her that, she breaks into tears. Okay, okay. we'll put it with your bag, okay? I'll just take it for now. Okay. I'll just take it for now. No! Just in taking her for now. You're not allowed in the back of the cruiser for now. Okay. We'll put it with your bag, and as soon as, you'll as, get as you get out of the car, you'll have it, okay? Well, you guys are going to arrest me anyway. Are you in handcuffs? <laughs> well, uh, they said I started it, even though she did. That's by threatening me. Here, just give me your phone for now. I only trust you with it. Okay. okay. I'll keep a hold of it. Go ahead and put your leg in. <laughs> I hate my leg. Okay. She did not like that. As soon as she heard what the officer said and that she was going to go to jail, her behavior changed and she became extremely volatile towards the officers. The female officer asked her nicely to turn around and put her hands behind her back. But will she comply? Because I'm asking nicely. You're arresting me, aren't you? Yes, we're putting you in handcuffs. Just go ahead and do no! to me. I'm asking nicely. I need my boyfriend. We'll get a hold of him, okay? He's in California! If you turn around for me, we can and do that. And he's a celebrity! What's his name? Joshua Joshua Okay. Yeah, he's my boyfriend. Okay, go ahead and turn around. No! Well, do you want me to talk to your boyfriend or not? I want to talk to him. Well, you're not going to be able to with that attitude. He's the one who can call me down. Okay. Well, sadly for her, she is being arrested, and her hair story isn't going to work since the officers already saw the CCTV footage. She tells the officer that she says things she doesn't mean when she's upset, but when you start to threaten to hit an officer, maybe you should calm down a bit. The quicker we do I this, the... to go back home. Okay, the quicker we do this, the quicker you can go home. So, well, my parents kicked me out. And they don't let me back. 
All right, so this is gonna go two ways. Either I can just be the one to put you in handcuffs, or I'm gonna have to have them help me put you in handcuffs. You aren't putting me in handcuffs. Okay, so then do you want me to just be the one to do it? No one's doing it. Okay. One, three, seven, one, Ma'am, here's the thing. I know you're not comfortable with men, okay? You kn you do know my father, right? I'm not sure, but I know you're Stop. not comfortable. Okay, so I know you're not comfortable with men, okay? I'm not comfortable don't... with anyone. Okay, I understand that, but you're less comfortable with men. We don't want to have to put you in handcuffs. Okay? You're not going to. Is that actually her dad? Yeah, stop. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. The officers realize that this isn't going anywhere and that neither her mother nor father is going to be any help in this situation. They try and circle back to her boyfriend who might be able to come and help her or maybe just calm her down. But sadly, it sounds as if her celebrity boyfriend might be a catfish. How do you talk to him? I talked to him on Google Chat. Google he gave Chat me his email. Oh. Okay. He has a private fan page that I used to talk to him on. He even gave me his uh, ID in a picture, which you can't find on the internet. Have you guys met yet? We've called, uh, but mm -hmm. he was sick when we first called. So his voice sounded weird. Oh. But it was him. How long have you guys been together? A couple months. A couple months? Yeah. Do you guys talk to each other for Christmas? Nope. No. He was busy on Christmas. That makes sense. He's an actor. Oh, that's right. If you haven't guessed it yet, she believes she's talking to Joshua Bassett, the actor from High School Musical who played Linus in Grey's Anatomy. The suspect continues to argue with the officers and still isn't cooperating. She believes she only defended herself and didn't start the altercation that happened earlier. So right now you're only in trouble for the fight, okay? <laughs> I but never did anything except to f self defend. Okay, and that's fine. And when it, when it goes to court, then that's what will be shown, okay? But as of right now, that's she the only literally thing that's grabbed me by my hair and whacked me in the leg with a broom. Okay, and if that's and the case, and to throw away my stuff. Okay, and if that's the case, then in court that'll come out. Okay. I'm not going there. But if we try to put you in handcuffs because we have to, and you resist and you want to fight us and you don't let us do that, that's another charge. The officers then explain to her what the situation is and how they can resolve it. They tell her that she's being arrested and that she has to put her hands behind her back. She'll then go down to the jail and be charged with assault. If she resists, she'll get a resisting and obstruction charge added to that. And if she decides to get physical, she'll be charged with a felony assault on an officer. So let's see how this plays out. Everything's a choice. Uh you know that. So what it comes down to is you have to be put in handcuffs, okay? And we I don't want to have to use... to. You do have to. You're Not making everything the is choice. a choice. Not everything is a choice, okay? Actually, it is. No. But the, the problem is, okay, we don't want to have to use force to put you in handcuffs. But we you're wanna... never going to. What do you mean? You're never going to touch me. If we can't Ever. put you in the handcuffs, we're going to. No, you're not. Uh, if you even try, I will kill you. You want me to be the one to put you in handcuffs, or do you want four people to do it? Shut up. Okay, four people it is then. This is your choice. Remember, we all make choices, and this is your choice. Now, if the suspect wants to go back to jail, then she's on the right track. The officers try to calmly explain to her that she won't go back and study music if she goes down this path. But after explaining it a hundred times, they've had enough. So they decide it's time to get forceful. However, just like an anime protagonist, this suspect goes Super Saiyan. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Strong I could fight all of you all. I am okay. But you don't need to. That's I gonna could get you if I had to. You but you don't have to. But you don't have to. Oh, That's just really? gonna get you in the last four. Do you okay. see these heels? I could kick you so hard that you'll run out of breath. Okay, but you don't want to do that. Because that's a felony. And you don't want a felony, right? I don't really care. Yeah, you do. <laughs> don't you f***ing dare. Okay. Turn around and turn around and get put your hands behind your back. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back, then. No. Turn around and put your hand behind your back. No. Oh. Oh, you. The officers struggle to place her into cuffs as she fights and kicks at the officers. After quite the struggle, the suspect finally takes a break and tells the officers that she'll sit up and allow them to place her into cuffs. They let her up and finally get the cuffs on her. They buckle her up, but she keeps on yelling in the back seat. I 
literally cannot feel my arm. You guys are terrible. And so are you. Hey, are you gonna cooperate with us? Nope. Why? Because you, you know guys what? are Because what? Because all of you are We're not the police. To do with Who cares? We're gonna still take care of you while you're in here, okay? No, you're not. We're no, you cares. Out, okay? Hey girl, so here's what I need. Go away! Hey, listen. Just listen to her real quick, okay? I just need my boyfriend to... Okay, you can call listen. him if you... Uh, uh, Do not touch uh, me! Listen, that's not gonna... That's how it's not gonna get it out. Do not okay. touch me! What's your name, okay. ma'am? I'm not saying. Hey, Alexis, hey, Alexis, Alexis, you gotta cooperate with us, okay? Alexis was charged with assault, battery on a police officer, and resisting arrest. Her boyfriend did not come and bail her out of jail. Shame on you, Josh Bassett. Shame on you. On October 22, 2023, in Wisconsin, authorities arrested a 17-year-old and a 25-year-old at the Milwaukee County Zoo. Officers were called to the animal park after security reported an apparent fight between two groups of people. One of the two groups was sitting at the gate, waiting for a car to come and pick them up. But when the officers confronted them, they became argumentative and combative. What's that? Our rod is going to be the there are more individuals. That so someone are... is picking you guys up? Yes, they're Where's like, your ride? Uh, my ride. She's on the phone. You want to talk to her? I don't need to talk to them. Where's okay, your ride at? Get in, get in. Why, okay. I just got here. Why are you yelling at me? I'm trying to help you out. Why are you she, yelling at me? me? I'm sorry. She right in the front of the right, building. She said she, that's where she, she, where she dropped the car. She said she's right where she dropped the car. What car? It's a gray car. It's a gray car? Oh, it's white. A oh, white sedan? It's a white Nissan, Nissan Altima. Okay, calm down. I'm calm. I don't have to be calm. I'm not hurting you. Okay, so right. white, okay, I'm not gonna talk to you. If you want to do that? No, so it's a white sedan coming to pick you guys up? No, it's a what is it? Nissan. It's white. a Nissan Altima. It's a Nissan. I don't need to know. I don't. Oh, white Nissan. Nissan. He's not trying to. Oh they're not trying to let this in. She right there. She said. But well, she's, they, yeah, I can't let you in because I didn't even have the keys. Do you need to talk to her? She's waiting on us. You can press that green button right here. Do you hear her? Do you hear her? You hear her, right? You hear her, right? Yeah, I hear her. I'm so done talking. So just open the gate and let us through. No, I'm not gonna open the gate because the zoo's closed. Hold on. Why do you? Okay. The officer asked over his radio for someone to locate their ride. In the background, you can clearly hear the person in the white hoodie yell and scream. When the officer returns to the group, the 17-year-old who was wearing the white hoodie, identified as Envy Hampton, becomes hostile to the officer and starts yelling at him. If I hop this fence, I'm gonna be wrong. If you hop this fence, I'm gonna arrest you. You ain't gonna do to me. And the you ain't gonna do to me. If I hop this fence, then what? You hear my sister on the phone right now. She said she riding from the building. We just need to walk over there and get over there to her. Okay, how about this? Instead of you guys going all the way over there, because it's a long walk and it's like 40 degrees out, we're going to go get that sedan. We'll bring it around. You're not about okay. to do You're not about to do Is that, that a little better? You don't need to do that. But she, Yeah, us. she don't have no sedan. She got a Nissan Altima. I said a Nissan yeah, Altima. I said an Altima. Okay. Altima. A gray, right. That gray Nissan so Altima? We finna, right. do, we finna hop in your car. Y'all about to take okay. us to the car or what? Y'all are planning your last. My nephews is in the car. I ain't gonna lie, y'all not hearing me. I don't give a f about that guy. Ma'am, do you have an idea or can I get your name? Envy's sister, Naya, arrives on the scene in her white Nissan and tells the officer that she's there to pick up her sister. The officer asks for her ID because there was a fight and she's immediately hostile towards him. She talks with her sister on the phone and tells them to hurry up before she walks away from the officer and makes her way towards the gate. I don't understand. Because now I'm having an interaction with you that was a possible fight, Right, okay? but you don't need my name yes, to I... come and get my sister. No, you don't. That's, that's, no, you don't need my all name. Ma'am, all I do is in Come on, man. Ma'am, we're not Bro, doing I'm this. Come around. Don't, no, hold you on. don't need to follow me. Hold on. Just hold on. I am holding on. I've been sitting here. here for 10 minutes, sitting here looking for them. I don't okay. need to, I don't need nothing. I'm just going to come out and go around. It don't matter. As the officer asks for her information, she just keeps on walking away. But at the end, she gives him a fake name, Tiffany Willis. This is going to be one long night for these officers, especially if the entire family is going to be uncooperative. The officers let Envy and her group through the gate, and from there, everything just got worse. Okay, okay Tiffany. Yep. Hold on. You're okay, you can let me in my car. My kids is in here. Come on, man. Okay. Do not leave. 84, copy a plate. Don't touch my sister. I'm like, what the f is you taking? Person. What is you taking my plate Hack for? You don't need to do none of that s. I don't I just understand. Get your ID? For what? Because I don't I'm having have an interaction it. with I you. I don't now. have it. I don't have I'm it. I don't have it. Okay. That's fine. I just said my name. So what's next? Okay. 
All I got to get your name, make sure Tiffany you're... Willis. Yeah, Tiffany D I S S I N Y Willis. W I L I S. What's your first name? I just said Tiffany. Tiffany? In the car. In the car. Go up in the buddy so they can get your name. What's your middle initial? Uh, M. M? Okay. That's well, it, right? What you did at birth, ma'am? Why did you. Are you here, I think, Now you just That's said you need my name. Why do you need all of that? I'm She's trying to look at me. My up. kids are in the car. I'm confused on why you need to write all this information. Right. You already told me okay. they had an altercation. Okay. That's fine. I understand okay. all of that, there, but I'm yeah. trying to get my kids home. Okay. Now, we so never we'll had no you. altercation. Okay. Well, talking about everybody that I was arguing with is with me right now. I'm you don't need to grab my door. Hold on. I'm not going to pull my door. We're not leaving yet. Okay. You don't need to grab my door. Move. We're not leaving right now. My kids are in the car. I need to keep them warm. The officer lets the group know that they can't leave until this is done, but Naya says she quote doesn't do police and refuses to cooperate. The officer calmly asks the girl in pink if they could go to the other side and have a quick discussion, and she tells the officer about the events that happened earlier. And then we argue, okay, they tell us to leave, we left, we went out here, we sat out here, what we okay. had to do outside of here don't have nothing to do in here because we was not on the premises no more. We sat out there, we waited for our ride. Our ride here, we just ready to go and get it over. We're not trying to make it no deeper than what it is. We're not trying to nothing. We didn't really disturb them because when they told us to leave, yeah. we genuinely, we left. Okay. And we and we walked over there. That's when all the police started coming. We had already left and we was we was literally sitting outside. We were sitting outside here the okay, whole time. So we just you guys, to okay, so, you guys, it was a family verbal altercation. Yeah. Basically, yeah. that's what it was, right? Yeah, it wasn't, okay, it wasn't nothing with that's no other like people that. outside of us. It wasn't, we weren't arguing with other people. It was all within, within us. We, we had a little altercation, a okay. little argument within us. They told us that they was closing the inside, so sit outside. We yeah. sat outside. After a little bit outside, they said, okay, we want to go. We sat outside, all right here, now we're just ready to go. Okay. All right, so the verbal, so just so I understand what was going on, it was just a verbal altercation yeah, between, I never guess, family. Fought. Yeah, we didn't, it didn't even okay. have to do with no outsiders. We didn't fight. It was just arguing words back and forth, and okay, then we so, left when they told us to leave. Okay. So was anyone injured during this? The rest of the family join in and start yelling again. No one was hurt in the altercation, and the woman tried to urge the officer to let them go on their merry way. But when more officers joined the scene, the situation only got worse with Naya going ballistic. After her crazy outbreak, officers tried to get her out of the car. You don't gotta come over they here! Are, Why is y'all bringing all these police? They are Nobody got talking. the fight. Let go of her! Daddy, grab her! Get them both out! Please don't touch me! Get out. Don't touch me. I right, will get out, but don't touch me. Okay, get out. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I'm getting out. Don't touch me. I didn't do Don't touch me. Don't touch me. I didn't do shit. Don't touch me. 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 Don't she got out of the back seat of the car and started to swing at one of the officers. After the officer was struck, he allegedly repeatedly struck back at Envy before he placed her in cuffs. But there's no footage to prove that. Envy and her sister were taken into custody, and court records revealed that Envy Hampton faced a felony charge of battery on a law enforcement officer and two misdemeanor charges of resisting and disorderly conduct. Her sister was charged with two misdemeanors of resisting and disorderly conduct. On the 10th of March, 2022, officers were called after there was an altercation between two students at a school. One of the female students was aggressive towards the staff members and argued with them. The officers arrived on the scene and tried to de-escalate the situation. Go in the room and chill out. There's no one That's all it has here. to be He's right now. Over here. Okay? It's gotta end. Can you do that? Move! Can you go in that room okay, and chill? Okay, move! Go ahead. I'm gonna trust you. No. Chill out. Nah, are we gonna leave him for this f***ing on his dog But that's what we're trying to prevent. We're trying to prevent that. He's not in this room. 
As you can clearly see, the suspect is acting quite difficult. She throws a bunch of things that are in the cafeteria before taking a seat on the table. She yells and swears at the officer and the teacher, who are both just trying to calm her down and not place her in cuffs. But that quickly takes a turn. Man, I would not care if I wanted to go to jail tonight, bro. You look at this guy at 21, bro. He three weeks ago. The day I came to school, the day I got it, bro. Okay. Lucky. You think that scares me? No, it doesn't. Let me mm -hmm. tell you damn well, I'm not trying to go back there. Okay. That's what we're trying to prevent. We can't let you. Bro, put his hands on me to make the whole situation worse. Okay. Guess what? I didn't mean to throw that at you. Turn around. Get on the door. We're not playing this. Now you're going to jail. If you want to continue playing like this, now you're going to jail for battery on law enforcement. If that's how you want to do this, then that's how we'll do it. We gave you that opportunity to chill out. But if you want to play this game, we'll play it. That's that's SRO 107. Show me out on a bat, Leo. My status is 10-4. I need a unit for transport. You want to play this? That's how we'll play it. After throwing the applesauce at the officer and being placed in cuffs, one might think this 13-year-old is going to calm down a bit and be apologetic. But no, she tells the officer that she doesn't care about any of this and that she'd do it all over again. She tells the officer that he's lucky she didn't hit him in the chest with the applesauce and that she doesn't even care that all of this is on camera. We had a student who had a little bit of a moment and was upset and then decided to take it upon herself to sling a applesauce at me. So we tried to give her the opportunity to chill out and she decided not to. So now she's gonna go to jail for Bat Leo. I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. we're, we're gonna resolve this up. Cause it went from her throwing the water bottle over the kid to doing, you know, all this. But I actually had other units here. If you want, I'll give you a call in. Bye. The last time these cops didn't, didn't put these at all. Didn't like, put handcuffs on? No, they did. When I went to 21, they did. But like, they were so loose, I could easily sip them off, put them on my feet, put them on my wrist. Like, I she could do anything. Your car, I, like, the man didn't even freaking lock them. He didn't lock the cups. Yeah, okay. Last time the man didn't That's even lock That's very SRO with him, sir. He didn't even lock them? Nope. That's terrible. Layla, you know why you're going to jail, right? Yep. Battery gets an officer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that his? Those are unsafe. Oh. Yeah, that's her uh, something. Here you go, Bryce. This year's something now. That was on her wrist. I don't believe she has any personal property, but I'll double check. So long and short as she gets upset. The officers talk for a bit and he tells them what happened. The 13 year old was then taken to the jail after they did a handcuff change. The principal talks to Layla and lets her know that she's suspended. He then asks the officer if she'll be going to the juvenile detention center. And this is what he had to say before they transport her to the jail. I don't know, I don't know if she'll score out or not, but if they try to get someone to come pick her up, uh, they she, never answer the phone. She might, she might, she might not. Cause so the last time I had someone Similar case, uh, battery on law enforcement. They ended up, she scored out, but then she got on an ankle monitor and everything. So, so, so it, de it, it depends on what she has on her record before and things like that. So, like if she has anything violent, they, Prior, yeah, yeah they, they might not score out. Okay. That, hurting, bro. That's because you keep moving your wrist. You I'm can't. Moving them because they're hurting. So if you move your wrist, there's a, the reason we tell you to put your hands like this and face, face each other is because that's the way the bone falls in your wrist. If you sit there and you turn your wrist, guess what's gonna happen? Guess where it's gonna ride? On that bone. It hurts right there, right? The officers stop the car and put the cuffs on her again and make sure that they aren't hurting her. She asks the officer if she can rather keep the cuffs on the front, but he tells her that's not how it works. When she got back into the car, she asked the officer why she didn't just get a ticket, and he burst out laughing. She wanted to know why you couldn't give her a free ticket. <laughs> a free ticket for what? For a jail free car Monopoly. Because you threw a damn applesauce at me. It's I didn't cool. mean to! You did. You said no, F you corporal and threw it at me. You said F you corporal and then threw no, it at me. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs>
I said sim. <laughs> and then threw it applesauce. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> throw it at him. At my knee. I didn't mean to throw These it at you. These are my good pants too, man. These are even the ones with the busted clasp. Uh. That's all right. Look, <sighs> hey, man, no hard feelings. I got to take action. Uh, 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 see? You it's all on camera. No hard feelings. I got to take action. Hopefully you get out. You it's a personal it event. I'm, that I am personally offended. You are personally going to make better choices I and not throw blue applesauce at somebody in green, right? That's around. I can't well, hear what she's saying. You, she's not going to make better choices, especially when you're around. You I think you will. And you know what's bad is we had you de-escalated and calmed down. Layla was charged with battery on a police officer and taken to the local jail. We're not sure if her parents came to pick her up, but we do hope she makes better choices in the future. On May 4th, 2022, cops were called to a battery case. When they arrived on the scene, they tried to talk to the suspect. But when the officer tried to talk to her about the situation, she walked away and said that he was yelling at her. But let's hear what you think. Do you think he yelled at her? Me and my mom's friend fought. That's why I was walking in the first place. Okay, and then this other person ended up... I'm literally trying to call her right now. I know. Well, listen, hang on. No, I'm not doing okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, because I'm getting yelled at for something You're not at getting Kelly. Yelled at. I'm yeah, I'm getting yell yelled at for it. Well, how am I yelling at you? I'm tired of people yelling at me. I just found out my mom has cancer again, and she was being a total <laughs> so I yelled at her and okay. threw soda at her. You threw a soda at your mom? No, not my mom. Why the hell would I throw a soda I, at her? You said mom? your mom cancer and somebody was yelling at no, you? No, the Kelly. I just tried to yeah. call Kelly to apologize Who's to Kelly? her. The girl. What girl? The one that drove, drove us here. The one that probably called you. Well, somebody called CBS. I haven't looked at that call yet. Yeah, so, my name is Kelly. I'm trying around. to call her back, and she won't answer my phone. Okay. And I've been trying to freaking apologize, and she won't answer the phone. Okay. So what happened between you and Kelly? She was t telling me that I was a and everything about the being a and Our suspect, Tiffany, starts to cry while the man in the blue shirt, who is her father, explains that Kelly called the cops, but that she was in the wrong and did not give Tiffany time to apologize. Tiffany then explains to the officer that she tried calling Kelly to apologize so that this entire situation could have been avoided, but she did not answer her phone. Like, who is she? She's my mom's friend. Okay. My wife's friend. So Kelly started talking crap about your mom. And then yeah, you and I told her, her, no, I told her after... We got out of there and got told her my mom has cancer again. Sorry. It's just so ridiculous. Thing. And I was like, my you should apologize and point. say sorry, and you you should regret what you said to her because of it. Mm -hmm. She has now she has big huge <laughs> thing like, of cancer. So she got upset. I was upset. mad because I'm pretty sure my mom's gonna die. Okay. So I threw the soda at her. And I was like, you're being rude because she told me I was being a bitch. Over at CVS. Yeah. So I'm listen, did this other off. blonde guy thing ever happen? Yeah, it did. Okay. I swear on my life. You know, it looks kind of funny after this other person calls and then because I this thought other she thing was being, wasn't being serious. I thought I could apologize to her. And then she started saying stuff about your mom's yeah, cancer. Yeah, that's when I started. Tiffany now changes up her story and says that she spilled her soda on Kelly and did not throw it on her. But the officer quickly tells her that she just said she threw it on her. Tiffany was not happy with the officer talking back, quickly becoming uncooperative and escalating the situation. Yeah, that's why I started walking. That's when the blonde guy went and stopped harassing me. And I got scared and ran into the Stop whining. Guy. Listen. I'm stop, not trying to stop whine. whine. I'm crying about I, my stop, mom right stop now. Stop about it. Okay? Because just 10 minutes ago when you are with Kelly, you are Miss B****** pouring soda on her, and then now all of a sudden oh, you're I'm like crying. I'm in general. Okay. It, it, it I'm doesn't sound like it to you because it sounds dying. like it to me. Uh, we're going to stop. Well, right now she's going to wait. No, I'm you're going to know. You're waiting right here. Do I? Do we have to like chase after you? Yeah? Yeah? No, I don't care you're, you're going to wait. You're going to wait right here. Do not you're push gonna me. Because I'll push you back. Do not walk away make, again. This is going to make it. I don't care if it makes it worse. You have your hands off of me. I'm talking to my mom right now. Stop. 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 Oh, Stop. 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 Stop.
As you saw in the video, Kelly kicked the officers in an attempt to get them off, but it didn't work. They place her in cuffs as she yells at the officers for doing so. Now, when she sees that that isn't going to work, she yells out to her daddy for some help. Well, I'm sorry. Well, too late to be sorry. Come on. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, stand up. Daddy. Daddy, my arm is out of place. Anything on you're not supposed to have? No, why the f would I? You better stop. <laughs> I just wanted to Sit talk down. to my mom. Sit down. <laughs> do you want your stuff to go with you or do you want your stuff to go with your dad? I don't know. <laughs> not a trick question, it's one or two things. You want why to go am with I you even you being arrested? You tried to kick me. I wanted you to get off me. I hurt. don't care. Did I was tell trying you to, to stop? tell you Did I hurt. Tell you to stop? Did I didn't tell you to hear stop? you. The officers search her purse and find a bottle of pills that belong to her mom. Her father explains that Tiffany carries it around for her in case her mother needs a pill to calm down. The officer then asked him if there was really a blonde guy who was harassing her, and he tells them that there was, but he can't run or else he would have stopped him. The father then explains that Kelly made a remark to the mom, and that's why Tiffany went ballistic. Tiffany is then transported to jail. And they, and, uh, you know, she, Kelly made a, uh, you know, remark to my wife that says, see what happens when you don't take care of yourself. Okay. You know, so it was a simple thing, but, uh, my daughter has a tendency to anger up really quickly. You don't say? Yes. So that's, that's what happened. That's all that. Happened. It's going to be simple bat and bat Leo. Okay. Well, Tiffany, again, I know you're searching on scene. Do you have anything that you're not supposed to have? No. Okay, because if not, you've already been to jail before. They're going to do the body scan. Yeah, I know. If something pops up, then we're going to have to go through that whole mess. Yeah. Okay? No, I'm good. Okay. All right. Here. I'm sorry again. Try to adjust your shirt oh, here, God. okay? There you go. Okay. Just trying to adjust your shirt a little bit. Here, step to the back of the car. I'm going to take those off again, swap them out. All right, what I need you to do is lean up on this door. Do me a favor, just take a little bit of a step back. Now lean forward with your feet right there. Lift one foot to me. After all of that, Tiffany was charged with battery on a peace officer. Maybe she and Layla became friends, since they have so much in common. With all that done, we've come to the end of our video, and we really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like this, remember to like and subscribe, because we upload quite frequently. Remember to drop a comment if you have anything interesting to say, and we'll see you in our next video.